So it's 2022 and I'm sure you've all been wondering, Keelan, where are the new videos? Well, I've actually took a little bit of a break to focus on work and because I'm buying my first house. But today I thought it would be cool to look back at my Blender journey and take a look at some of the resources that helped me go from the starting cube to creating cool quirky little characters such as this guy right here. So if you're just picking up Blender for the first time or you've never even heard of it before, hopefully this video will point you in a good direction to get started. So if you're new around here, my name is Keelan and I'm a web developer by day, but in my spare time I love being creative, creating art, and during the 2020 lockdown I decided I'm going to take this extra time I have to learn 3D design. I was coming from the angle of a web designer, so I wanted to create 3D assets and icons and illustrations to use in my apps, websites and personal projects. So let's take a look at where I started. Of course, here it is, just like many others in the Blender community, I started with Andrew Price's Donut Tutorial. Even if you don't use Blender, you've probably heard of this. This is a fantastic series of free videos on Andrew's channel, Blender Guru, where he takes you through the, all the fundamentals of Blender and just general 3D design. There really is probably no better place to get started in Blender. And I think by the end, my donut looked pretty cool too. What do you think? Well, I, I was pretty happy with the result anyway. And by the end, I had a good understanding of the basics of Blender. From there, I moved on to Grant Abbott with his lovely soothing voice. <laughs> Specifically, I moved on to Grant Abbott's Well Tutorial. This is a fantastic series that really starts to jump into the more stylized art that I've grown to love and cherish. It's very like, almost like clay, and a lot of this I've carried forth into my web design aspects. So wow, what a fantastic series. Grant really jumps in with some of the most like fundamental mod modifiers that you will use every single day and some of the tools that you are gonna use all the time. So really highly recommend this one and uh, let me know, what do you think of my well? I think it's pretty cool. At this point, I felt like I had the basics down pretty well, so I just started experimenting, creating simple illustrations, icons, and animations, primarily for use on websites and apps. You know, being a web developer, this was my main goal here, but I went through a lot of bad creations before anything remotely started looking good. I'll try to pull some things up, some older renders and projects, but I've got a lot on this computer and it really did take some time before anything started looking good. So as a beginner, really don't give up, keep practicing and you will get there. After a short while of tinkering with icons and simple illustrations, I felt I was ready to attempt some characters. The problem was, I couldn't find any tutorials in the style that I was looking for, so instead I did some research and I learned the basics of subsurface modelling along with how to use the skin modifier to create a variety of different shapes. Then began the long process of trial and error. I started by creating very simple characters and of course in the beginning they didn't look great but over time I made it a hobby to keep practicing and improving my characters as often as I could. And it was around this time that I decided to start this channel too to help solidify the things that I was learning and perhaps even help someone else trying to learn something new too. In time, my styles and methods became more refined as I learned new and better ways to create models, including rigging, sculpting, and now I'm even taking my first steps towards animation. And I think overall, I'm now in a place where I'm really happy with how my characters look and the general overall quality of how they turn out. Now it's 2022 and I'm looking to try Blender in some new directions, whether that will be for creating more realistic CGI, perhaps trying my hand at augmented reality or perhaps even virtual reality. There is no limit to how far Blender could go and I'm so glad to be a part of this community. But before we end this video today, I just wanted to say that I owe so much to Blender and the amazing team behind its development. And it may sound cliche, but it really has changed my life for the better. So if you haven't already, don't wait, get started in Blender now because there's never been a better time to give it a try. And hey, it's always free. But on that note, my name is Keelan, thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>